parasol. Nandito na kami, dumating na kami. Nandito yung grupo namin yan. Alam mo naman yung mga matatanda. Mga senior citizen. So, maganda dito, guys. Yan, ang sasakyan namin, yung bus namin. are doing? What is that? Uh, yes. Yes. I don't understand that. They are uh, putting uh, onions in the ground yeah. that will grow up uh, and ah. have flowers coming up. Onions. It's uh, not onions for eating, it's oh, yeah. flowers. Cannot really understand what he's what she said. She said it was temporary exhibitions yeah. of art. Ah. We, we can go inside if you want. So wine here is just a byproduct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trash and olives and to buy the product. History because we don't add a lot of history. We see it a bit in the tunnel. Because it's a sum up about the history. It started here with the Templar order. Uh, they built here a commonly, so they were first monks. Uh, they were like completely autonomous and they built this commonly to host it pilgrim first. Uh, and at some point we needed people to go into the crusade. That's why they were military too. It was a strategic place too, here. 
for the Templar. And this Templar had a lot of money and influence in the kingdom. And the king at this era, Philip Lebel, was a bit jealous of all this money and influence in the kingdom. So Philip Lebel decided to put all of them in jail. Uh, so they were first here in 1204, so 800 years ago. And in 1308, where they were all in jail. And then they, uh, they tried to be helped by the Pope, who was an ally of the king. And unfortunately for them, they all burned on stake. Uh, but one of the last Templars, his name was Jacques de Molay, put a spell on the king and the Pope and told them they were going to die one year after his death. And it happens. And it's probably the well-known legend that we know in France that we call the wretched king, Le Roi Maudit. Um, and so it happens, uh, the king didn't have male descendants for generations. And so after them, it was Malta Roder who came here. Uh, that's why you do the Red Cross a bit everywhere in the vineyard. Uh, and they were just hosted pilgrims them and healed them if they needed. Uh, but they were not military. And so they're still here until the French Revolution. Uh, so we just confiscated the vineyards from them. They didn't have all the vineyards. And who are here after it was Francoise Rigor, uh, Rigor family who came here uh, and kept the vineyard for a generation, about two centuries. And Francoise Rigor for us was really important for the winemaking thing. In the 70s, she was one of the first women who bottled rosé in France. She exported rosé in the States in 1977. And uh, she also passed the and of the abolition protocol. And she was a woman, so it was quite revolutionary to run a vineyard in the 70s. And uh, she decided to retire. Uh, her children didn't want to buy the vineyard because, you know, you had a lot of things to do in the vineyard. You built plants, vines, and so on. Uh, so, uh, most of us, we came here with a friend to visit the vineyards. And it was his friend who wanted to buy the vineyard first. But his friend didn't really like the way to come to the vineyard. To, uh, too away from the main one for him, and he was not sensitive about all these rocks and so on around. Most of us didn't say a word during the visit, but he was like, I love this vineyard, I want it. So his friends said, mm, I'm not interested at all. Most of us say, okay, I will call François Rigor. So he did, and he said, I want your vineyard. I would love to, to buy it. And this is still Monsieur Sri, who is the owner since 2001. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Have you got some questions? Did you say when the vine, when they planted the wine box? Sorry, I didn't get what when, you said. When did they start with the wine? Uh -huh. the when did they start here the wine? Yes. With the Templar or even they the Romans? They started to plant the... Yeah, the first uh, came here was the Roman. We find the old villa uh, in one of our plots uh, and the Romans uh, came here and had vines, I guess, but we didn't find them because, you know, you had wars, the phylloxera and so on, so a lot, a lot of vines disappeared. But the Templar had vines before, and they had wheat too, and but all you can see here, this is um, calad. Uh, this stone, uh, we used it before to beat this wheat, you know, to do flour after, and do bread. I did not understand that. So the yes. Templar uh, mm -hmm. had... Uh, Long time ago, here, but Francois Vigor was one of the most important to run a vineyard and um, really commercialize wine. Continue? Yeah, okay. It is very uh, wide, well, it's a lot of vineyard. Hmm. 
merkelig arkitektur midt inne igjen. Det er det dere oppi. Vi fikk en masse land av vein. Vi fikk en masse land av vein. Vi fikk en masse land av vein. My white wine, my red wine, my rose wine. Ito tikim siya. Alam mo na mo, kasi lang mahilig sa mga wine. Ako lang hindi ko inom. Bago ko pag-uwi namin, mga lasing na itong mga kasamaan ko. Ako ang hindi ko inom. So this one, you have five different grapes. Sigmund, Sigmund. Do you still have a lot of wine? Have you ever heard about Sibura? Sibura. Ang ganda. Look at that. So cute. Pascal Martin Oh, that's a big mushroom. Yeah, it's a big mushroom. So these are lights. Mhm. Mm so in the evening. They have light. So it's nice here in the evening. Ito ang vineyard. Ito ang vineyard.